Good morning, this is Chris Waddell for 60 Seconds. The stories and highlights from Beijing. Today we're looking at the volunteers. Over 40,000 volunteers here in Beijing. For the athletes, the connection with the volunteers is often the connection to the culture of the host city. And, and here we, we certainly get a great chance to meet up with the volunteers and also the culture. So here on Paralympic Sport TV, we'll look at another day in the Paralympics. My job here in Beijing is like this security check crew. We check your cars. If you had this mark NPC, we let you in. Yeah, right. And, and you get to meet a whole lot of people as a result of that? Yes, we meet a lot of people he here from all of the countries. And we are very happy to see them and uh, say hello to them. We are very happy. They're very friendly. We like the journeys. They're very friendly. And what's exciting about that for you? And I think I can meet different people from different countries and um, I learn a little about their language. For example, uh, hola, the Spanish, <laughs> right? And um, they, they told me something about their countries. They told me their, about their weather, their country, and I know more about the world, I think. After breaking the world record early in the morning during qualifying, Sarah Story set yet another world record, taking gold in 336.367 in the women's individual pursuit. The 30-year-old former Paralympic swimmer was totally overwhelmed by her success. It was the toughest thing she had ever done in track cycling, she said afterwards. US Jennifer Shovel took silver and Jinping Dong took bronze. Drama was the name of the game at the final of the men's 400 meter in class T38. For more than 300 meters, 29 year old Wen Jung Chu from China was having a home run when falling shortly before the win. As a result, Tunisian Fahad Chida could take over and got the gold. Abe Saidi, also from Tunisia, came in second, and Andrei Onofrienko from Ukraine third. Stephen Payton from Great Britain stumbled, just like Timothy Sullivan from Australia previously, on the 100 meter before the finish. He left in total frustration. Natalia Parteka from Poland was successful in the finals of the Class 10. Silver and bronze went to Lai Fang and Chongshou Ho from China. These are her second Paralympics after representing her country at only 11 years of age in Athens. She is also one of the two Paralympians who had also qualified for the Olympics. Thanks again for joining us for 60 Seconds, the show where no highlight or story is longer than 60 seconds. It's been a great time. We'll look more at the Paralympics here in Beijing. Stick with us on Paralympic Sport TV. Right up there, these are the tents.